Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Today we're going to be looking at another mathematical question related to Age of Empires, and that is, does the placement of your mill around the berry bush actually matter? So today for this experiment, I'm going to be starting in the Dark Age, since generally you're going to collect your berry bushes in the Dark Age. I'm going to have a variety of different shapes of the berries to represent the different spawns that can happen. Now, for every map, you get six berry bushes that are together in a group, but they can either be in a line or they can be condensed in a clump. And so we want to make sure we're controlling for that. As well, I'm going to have a staggered build time, which uh, you'll see on the screen there. And the point of that is so that uh, we're not getting some different confounds. The idea is we're going to be building the mills at the same time. And we're going to have uh, comparable bushes. The only difference we're going to have is whether your mill is right beside the berries or if it's just one block away. Because you would think one block away would give you more surface area, but you would think closer to the berries is shorter travel distance. So this is why we've got to get to the bottom of this. It's an important question. So we're going to be looking at uh, four villagers per berry bush, which Higher rank players tend to say is the most that you want to have around a berry bush as your maximum. We'll also repeat the experiment with eight villagers and see if it makes a difference. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for patterns and see if closer is better or if having the mill one square away is better. So let's check it out. So the results of this experiment seem to be that you want to actually keep that mill one square away from the bush unless it's really clumped up. Have an interesting result and it's a little bit difficult to explain, but that seems to be what happens. So now we're going to repeat the experiment except with eight villagers instead of four. As you might imagine, it's a little bit difficult to keep that many villagers all in line and to stop them from running around to the different uh, forage bushes. So it takes a little bit of micromanagement. I had to spread them out a little bit, but I got them to finally do it. And so we repeat the experiment with eight villagers instead of four. The results are actually quite similar and it seems as if having it actually one square away gives you a slight advantage in terms of how quickly they collect from the forge bush unless you have that really tightly packed formation. To be fair, we're probably not talking about a very big difference. We're talking about a few seconds to clean up that last berry bush, if anything. At most, it looks like it's about 20 food at any one time that you're ahead. But still, if you're looking for what is the most efficient way to do it, it looks like actually being one square away from the berry bush is slightly more efficient than being right beside it. Which, not to be biased, but that was my prediction going in. I see some other commentators and players putting the mill right beside the berry bush, and my feeling was that that wasn't the most efficient way to do it. So there you go, now you know. Maybe you believe this, maybe you don't. I didn't rig it, I promise. But leave a comment, tell me the way that you like to do it is you just always put it beside it. Hey, maybe, maybe that works for some people. Anyway, it's not a big difference either way. So whatever you do, all the power to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Spirit of the Law, and we'll see you next time.